Hello, this is Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. Today we're going to talk a little bit about pneumonia and some of the signs and symptoms of it. Um, generally, symptoms of pneumonia vary from one person to another. They can be mild or severe depending on certain factors like uh, the type of germ that caused the infection, person's age, and the overall state of your health and your immune system. Usually these symptoms mimic those of a cold or flu but they typically last longer. They can develop slowly or over several days or manifest suddenly over a 24 to 48 hour period after being exposed to the disease causing organism. Some of the most common signs of pneumonia are things like fever, shaking, chills, and sweating, a cough that may or may not have greenish or yellowish mucus, wheezing, shortness of breath, usually when you do strenuous activity that is like uh, climbing stairs, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, rapid heartbeat, and also a stabbing chest pain when you cough or breathe in deeply. There are, there are two different types of pneumonia. There's bacterial and um, viral pneumonia, and they each have their own hallmark symptoms. Uh, there, are no specific, there are also specific differences in the symptoms you experience depending on whether you have uh, these types of pneumonia. If your disease comes from bacteria, your temperature may rise to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. and may come with um, really profuse sweating, rapid breathing, an increased pulse rate, and your nail beds and lips may appear bluish due to lack of oxygen in the blood, and you can appear uh, delirious or confused. On the other hand, viral pneumonia symptoms are similar to influenza, fever, dry cough, muscle, spa muscle pain, headaches, and weakness, and after 12 to 36 hours, increasing breathlessness can occur as well, and the cough can get worse and may come with mucus. Your lips can also turn bluish. So, uh, pneumonia symptoms in children and the elderly. Uh, the illness may be especially dangerous for uh, the very young, for infants, or um, the very old as well. Um, sometimes with very young kids, they don't show the signs of the infection. Other symptoms of pneumonia in children or infants include vomiting, fever, cough, restlessness, fatigue, and babies may also appear lethargic. They don't have much energy. They cry a lot more than usual. They may feel irritable, and um, feed poorly, they don't eat very much. If you notice your child's or baby's nostrils flaring while breathing, or that his or her muscles blow in between the ribs and above the collarbone are working hard to help, help them breathe, then he or she may need immediate medical attention. So these are symptoms of severe pneumonia that can even be lethal. As for seniors, it's common for pneumonia to come with delirium, confusion, or just sudden changes in mental awareness. They also may have lower than normal temperature and fewer or milder symptoms, but this doesn't mean that pneumonia in the elderly should be taken lightly. In fact, it's one of the most common cases of mortality among the old, and it tends to compound or make worse other illnesses like uh, lung disease. So just like in young kids, pneumonia can also be extremely life-threatening for the elderly and someone with chronic heart problems or lung problems. So if you have any of these symptoms and you're older than or know somebody, in this position and uh, consult a, a physician immediately. So hope this helps and um, we'll talk to you next time. Again, this is Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to look at our website or contact us. Take care. Bye-bye.